Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Christmas Headquarters with your host, Arnen Carlos. And yes, this is the Advent Calendar for 2023 that we are hosting. And we're also hosting a knit along, yes. a secret stocking that is becoming less and less of a secret as we go, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, today uh, we are going to reveal clue number 14, which is another six rows of this delightful project. And we hope that you're all enjoying it. Do make sure to tag Arne Carlos uh, on your social media, your Instagram, your Facebook, so that we can see how your stockings are coming along. And um, I know that some people, Arne, have decided not to do them in the Christmas colors, which I think is fabulous as well. You know, why, why do they need to be in red, white and green? You can do whatever you like. Yeah, I particularly <laughs> noticed somebody mentioning in a comment yeah. that they wanted to do it, well, that they're gonna do it in green, white and pink. Yeah, why not? Because they, they couldn't find the red. And I think yeah. that sounds like a very lovely combination. And I think it will work for Christmas as well. Absolutely. I think it, it, I think it will. Yeah. Because that reminds me of when we did our Christmas ball book. Mm -hmm. the, one of the ideas behind the book was that people could actually, like when you do a knitting pattern, yeah. pe pe people could pick their own colors because a lot, some people, they want to have a purple Christmas. Yeah, why or not? A pink Christmas. And some people only put p uh, white ornaments on their tree. It's, uh, it's everything goes, anything goes. And uh, yeah, if you've been a little shy about posting your stocking because you're doing it in colorways that are not traditional for Christmas, please don't be shy. We'd love to see them and uh, we do encourage everybody to post. And uh, we believe that all colors are created equal. I just got an idea. Oh. We should try to make, uh, maybe next year, we should do one in white and two grays. Yeah, absolutely. That is also very Christmassy. In Norway, Wh absolutely. White and gray. gray is a very good, Christmas color in Norway. Now, um, or light the candles. Yep, we are still lighting candles. We are, um, <laughs> well, I'm candles. very concerned because we're going to have to start playing musical chairs with the, with the candles. We can uh, still use it. But we can still use it a few more uh, episodes before we Maybe next we time we should change the little one and move the big one. Yeah, up. I think... I think you might be right. Because Otherwise, it will be uneven and then we'll come to... And we can have an accident. Yeah. Because this is wood. Yeah. And then we come... No, not only that. We come to December, uh, the episode that is going to be posted on the 17th. We need to add the third candle and then they're going to look wrong. Oh. And then that yeah. one is burned down. Okay. Already. So the musical chairs are coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we remember. If we remember. Mm. Yeah. So, Carlos, do you get in the Christmas mood? Well, yeah, I, um, I will eventually. Uh, no, I, I'm pretty much uh, very psyched for Christmas yeah. now. Because um, although it's going to be a little bit different this year. Yeah, because we're going to go to Sweden and be with your parents and spend Christmas mm. Eve with them because that's the proper thing to do right now. Yeah. So, but we will still have some Christmas at home and then we will... Yeah, we will, but I think that what you said, uh, I mean, you said it as, early, as late as... This afternoon sometime, you said, oh, um, I really don't feel like a Christmas tree here this year. I think... Um, I think we're going to bring all the balls and the Do the Christmas tree in the, Sweden. Sweden. But it's we fun. could do some, you know, we'll do, we'll do the usual Advent things. Oh yeah, there will be a lot of st stuff out. But yeah. we're also... Freya is going on her um, Christmas holiday with friends. Yeah. Been, because we're not bringing her to Sweden because yeah. we're going to take the airplane down to and you Denmark. Know, and, and you know that we have to deliver um, a few things to and our friends. And we have friends. to deliver some things. And so then, what we have to deliver, sorry, and then what? And then Freya will be there for Christmas Eve. And then we have to go on Christmas Day and pick her up when we come back. Well, we're going to stay there a few days. And then we're going to spend, I guess we're probably going to spend New Year's Eve there. Probably, yeah. And then... But, you know, then you feel yeah. like Christmas is over. But we're not going to talk about that Christmas is over. No, 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 no. Christmas is, Christmas coming. is coming, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, when we deliver Freya to our friends, we will have to bring with us uh, the cloudberries that we picked for the yeah. cloudberry yes. cream. Even if we're not going to be there, they need their cloudberries. We can't take that. them on the plane. No. So, you know, they might as well have them. You can't freeze the cloudberries for more than six months, in my opinion. So we'll give and them the not cloudberries. Nice if you take them out and yeah. freeze them again. And there will be cookies. There always are. There's always cookies. And there's and a, a few things we have to fix now because we are pre recording this. And already, when we, like now, when we 
with, with a little bit the head of mm. what you see. And we haven't put up the, the urineck. What is oh, yeah, that? the food for the birds. Yeah, the, the yellow, yeah, the, the, the corn, corn, the, the corn uh, band. The hay, the hay. The hay. The hay, hay for the birds. Yeah. But you know that the birds don't actually eat that. No, but it's decorative. Yeah. So <laughs> one of the things that uh, I was going to say about the cookies, I uh, totally forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the kitchen, uh, we've just done a new kitchen. Um, renovated it and now there's even space uh, for all of Arne's Christmas cookie utensils. They haven't been in the kitchen because we only use them once a year. Yeah, they've been in a box in the in the studio. Or but the finally Arne, you got yourself a little Christmas uh, I do. I do. shelf where you can keep your cooking uh, utensils for, for, for cookies yeah. and they don't take up, you know, more space because we have actually more space now. Yeah. So that's very good. And we need to have the gingerbread, but we're not making a house this year. But Next I, year. I, we got some really nice gingerbread uh, cutters well, well, actually, in the opera. Actually, don't say, hmm? don't, say, don't say we're not going to make a gingerbread house this year. We may practice on one so that we can make a fabulous one next year. We could. We yeah. may do a gingerbread house. It's just not going to be on, no. in ca on camera but this we need year. But we have to use those uh, the cutters we got mm -hmm. in the opera, yeah. the ballerinas. Yes, and the little tin soldier. He's and the so tin cute. soldier. That would be cute. Mm. cute. And then you can decorate with the, the icing. Yeah. We normally don't do that, but we, we should do that. I think we should the, do that. Uh, yes, we should definitely do that here. Uh, Are the Christmas. things coming? No, I was just thinking about the kitchen <laughs> and uh, the fact that we've actually extended a window. Uh, so now you can we can wash dishes and there's a tree. Oh yeah, on that side? On, on, you know, our yeah. house is... So there's a little hill. There's a tree up the hill. And so the idea now is when we watch, wash dishes, Arne hasn't done it yet. But um, he bought all these uh, bird food that we can't keep near here because then we get well, mice. Actually, I, I forgot them on the front porch and there was a little mouse who had her Christmas Eve. Yeah, she you... didn't eat much, but there was a hole and there was a few yeah. seeds coming out. So you need to take that away I'm, I, I and have hang it up on the new away. tree, the new tree that we have. Yeah. It's the coffee, no, the dishwashing tree. So the idea is I'm going to wash my dishes. And I'm going to look out and I'm going to see bullfinches frolicking around the tree, eating all the treats that we're offering, which is going to be lovely. That's like a Christmas card. It is, yes. A moving Christmas card in front of my window. Yeah. And the moose doesn't take it. No, but, no. Do, but the squirrels. There are small squirrels. Yeah, but squirrels. the squirrels here are very are cute. cute. They're unlike, very cute. Unlike the North American ones who... Yeah. Are bigger. I think we have cute squirrels. Yeah, ours are in Europe. They're, the Norwegian ones are about this tall. They're small They're with a big tail and they look like the one you see on the yeah. postcards. And the ones on the in Christmas. America, in North America, the squirrels there, they look like a rat with a big furry tail. Are they, like if you go south in Europe, are they big also? Or I don't think so. I, I don't know. I only remember them because I got attacked by one in Boston. <laughs> But well, that was you because you looked like uh, a pumpkin. pumpkin. I was wearing an orange jacket. I think they like pumpkins. And suddenly um, a squirrel was climbing up my pants and it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching those ducks. There's the ducks sculptures and they were In dressed the like pilgrims. pilgrims. And while we were taking pictures and looking at the uh, pilgrim ducks, mm. Carlos was attacked by a squirrel. Actually, not one. No, it was just one. It was just well, one. one. I thought there were more. Many around. of them were looking at me, but it was only one who dared to jump up <laughs> and my pants. I was thinking, dinner. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Terrible. Well, well, that's a dish. Yeah. Anyway, Arne, we've dish, got a stocking. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. We've got a stocking to reveal. Yeah. So this uh, today, you're going to knit something very simple. Oh, and it's green and white now. Yeah. And this is so quick that when I made it, I actually made an extra round because By I mistake, didn't yeah. look out. Even, I also have, I have the tail from down there now. Mm. I should put this up as a yeah. marker. Anyway, there's no risk that you knit an extra round by mistake because you only no, get you only have the, one. the six rounds yeah. that are here. And all you need to do is go to arnacarlos.com slash blog and download today's chart, which is pretty much uh, a very exciting uh, thing. What? It's very quick and easy to knit. And what is it going to be? A Christmas uh, mistletoe, maybe? Is it a mistletoe? You will see. Is it something else? You never know. Is it a tree? I won't tell. You won't tell? No. We'll see tomorrow if, uh, if it develops <laughs> into something else. Yeah. Uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And you know, this was so easy. So today, 
when I made this, I also wove in some threads. Some yeah, threads. that's very good. Because I like to do that every now and then. And I've been talking about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So now this is woven. woven in. It's actually good to do it every now and then, so you don't yeah. have to do everything at, in the end. So. That's true, yeah. And this is how it looks from the inside. Yep. Everybody wants to see what the inside looks like, so here it is. This is the inside. And the stocking is growing and will continue to grow uh, as we continue uh, our quest for uh, December 24th and the final clue. Yeah. So just stay with us, um, enjoy the, um, the knitting, and remember that you can go daily to the blog and download the chart of the day. And you can only do so until December 26th when it will become a paid pattern and then you'll just have to buy it. If you miss something, you miss something. Too bad. <laughs> well, it's life. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. And anyway, here is the result until now. It's growing and it's, you know, it's looking pretty, pretty. So that's Christmassy. Nice. It's Christmassy. Yeah. And then we have the advent calendar with comments from on my Eric and PJ. And Number 14. let's see what they put well, in the it's, sweater for It's us. not their, their comments. It's they No, it's not their comments, but we didn't pick the comments. They, they picked, picked the, the comments. their favorite comments yeah. for us and to only, read. So far, only nice comments. Oh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Everybody should be nice for Christmas, you know? If, yeah. you, if, if people are not nice, they don't get packages. That's true. Because then Santa Claus won't come. That's true. I know. Well, I've never experienced it because no, I'm, always, I'm always I'm always before good. Christmas. <laughs> okay. Comment. Let's see what happens today. This is from Sackfab. Sit in it for a bit. And it's from Jenny Harris, 2993, and this is two months ago. Wow, I can't believe you had to drive five hours trip to get your hair cut. Round trip. Round trip to get your hair cut. Is there no place closer? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. Um, also, it's hard to imagine places being closed for a month. What was that? Well, it must have been summer. Oh, maybe. Well, or, yeah, th yeah, that's. Or Easter, maybe. Here is uh, PHX set. Oh, here in Phoenix, here in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, no. I didn't say that other word. I said Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would never happen. I wish my company would close for a month. Okay. LOL. Yeah, but that's... So the month thing is, you that's know... That's summer holiday in Norway. Yeah, or... we, need, uh, we need minimum. In Norway, we need five weeks of vacation minimum. And... Uh, oh, my hands. Sorry. <laughs> ah, we have done this so many times. Okay, so we need. <laughs> like, yeah. Look how it looks. Okay, yeah, I, I can see what you mean. Anyway, we need five weeks of vacation minimum uh, so that we are happy and more productive. So that's what we get. Yeah. Uh, and it's the same in most of Europe, I would think, I think I, if is, not yeah. all of Europe. I know that. I know that in France and in Italy and in Spain they get you know, five weeks of paid vacation. So do, so do Swedes and Danes. And, well, we all get it in yeah. Europe. And it ha makes us happier. Now, <laughs> about our hair. We don't drive... Can you see my hair? Yes, I know. Uh, but I'm I tried to be funny and you don't see it. No, oh because... My, it, it, can you imagine I go five hours around yeah. to cut my hair? Yeah, no. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> no, not really. No, the problem no, is... No, we don't, we don't drive five hours return <laughs> just to cut our hair. No. We actually have to groom Freya as well. Yeah, um, and that we have to go somewhere else to do. Because there's no one because here. Because we tried one place once and she came at home with some cuts. And, she looked like a... And yeah. she was not happy. Yeah, no, no, no. So, but you know, when you... When we go... We try to... I don't know what say. We try to make this haircut happen if we have things Other to do. appointments, yes. Because you can't go just to do so it. So we go hair. to meetings yeah. or we go cut our hair and then go fly somewhere. So now the thing is, we were, you know, before we started this industry, the, the handcraft industry, we were in the fashion industry. And uh, 20 years ago, we did a lot of photo shoots. So we worked with a team of stylists and uh, hairdressers and makeup artists and we did a lot of shoots and we became very close with a with a hairdresser close friends and he cut our hair um, for all those years until he sadly passed away um, just before the pandemic 
And after he passed away, we we had no no hairdresser, <laughs> but we decided we to continue. We were for a while. Yeah, but we decided to continue <laughs> cutting our hair in the same salon where he worked. And now we have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, now we have to pay for it, but it's okay. We saved money for 20 years. Well, actually, we didn't because we felt so bad because he never wanted to get paid. So we we invited him for dinner and we sometimes we brought him gifts. Yeah. And I think he got more than... Oh, yeah. And then one day uh, we had to, you know, the first time we had to pay for a haircut. I was like, oh, my God, is it is not it more expensive not than more? that? <laughs> we, we felt so And bad I was like, ooh. I got, I, you know, we bought him sunglasses and we got him uh, wine glasses and we bought him, we took him <laughs> and his boyfriend expensive. out to dinner. And We heard know. that it was so expensive, <laughs> but it wasn't that expensive. No, not really. But maybe it's more expensive now, but actually there was this guy working in the salon and he also became a friend. So he opened his own yeah. salon. And now and we go there. Now we go there, but we, we try to make it happen when we have other things yeah. to do. And but, I think we could, I mean... We probably could get our hair cut here, but actually when we're here, we feel like we want to rest and relax and we just don't want to go anywhere. So it actually makes more sense that when we have to go to a meeting or when we're going to get on a plane anyway and travel somewhere. Or if we are on the way to go somewhere and yeah, why not you just... like to have your hair cut if we go on the cruises or... Exactly. So why not just do it in Japan? Oslo? Then get on the plane. It's like we're like old fashioned, you know, when uh, people started to go on the airplanes back in the days, they actually bought new clothes and they fixed their hair. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, it's just a habit that we have and uh, and we don't really do it uh, just that. We do lots of other things, too. Mm. So another comment. We can talk forever about this. Yes, we yeah. can. This is Happy Easter. KD Holfs. Seventy nine ninety nine, four months ago. Looking forward to future episodes. Would it be possible to do something simple sewing machine projects? It would be nice to receive your instructions on pattern purchase and the process of pinning, not pin, pinning the pattern, pinning the pattern cutting, 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 etc. Cutting, et Once you made simple placemats, the episode was fun for me. Your knitting is wonderful, but out of my league. I it would be great to watch you make a simple man's shirt and especially a vest with buttons, especially simple style. I have watched your show for years and enjoy all your efforts. Best regards. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And well, actually, after that episode, we did do, um, oh, we did do a, a needle case that is sewn and we actually published the pattern. Yeah, and we also posted something on, the, on Instagram where we show how we do... Uh, the construction of, of a garment on a doll. Yeah, but we haven't published uh, that pattern. No, no, not no. the pattern, but we showed how, yeah. how to do but it. But not a tutorial. It's no. very, it's like the YouTube shorts. So they're very, very, very quick. Yeah. They're very quick. You see but, what I'm doing uh, here. We could do a vest or something. That, that's... We made our own folk costumes during the pandemic. No, but no, but no, it's fine. I'm teasing you. <laughs> no, but, it, but yeah, like, we can, like, people can hardly see your face mm. when you're up there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep being. I, I want people to see your face and yeah. your beautiful hair. And you keep teasing and, me. And a nice yeah. sweater. And I, I just want to reiterate we do not go to the dresser <laughs> and drive five hours only for that. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with my hair, and neither is Arnett. We go. Oh, well, <laughs> I, don't you think I am obsessed with my hair? Yeah. Okay. Art is I a spend little hours. Yeah. Art oh, is my. a little obsessed with his hair. I'm not. Yeah, I spend hours, <laughs> and you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Well, sewing, sewing. Actually, we've been talking about sewing. We did some uh, patchwork, but um, yeah, we that's done. not like that's like not that difficult. I'm gonna sew a pillow today like, or tomorrow, yeah, but garments then and and, con and constructions mm. of the patterns that's more difficult yeah. but it could be fun one day yeah maybe. it will be so fun maybe one day and yeah after we finish this i'm gonna cut and sew that pillow that i'm making for the bench that we got for the kitchen yeah. so and i'm nice. gonna make more doll dresses yes because i'm cleaning my stash mm. okay that was the last comment yeah, yeah. so my memory is so short mm. But we have a competition going. We do. So we have pressed reset and we start the second competition. This competition goes on from the 13th of December to the 24th of December. 
And Carlos, what can people win? So it's a brand new prize, completely different from the yarn that you could win from episodes 1 to 12. Now Prim has been very kind and they are supporting these episodes and they're also providing the prize. The grand prize is the incredible Vario Creative tool, a perfect tool to use uh, in order to attach rivets and uh, press on buttons and things like that to your projects. Really, really good prize and you really want to win this. This is an ergonomic uh, tool. It's very precise, works every time, and it's amazing. We saw it demonstrated at the h, &H Cologne and we absolutely love it. In addition to this, you will also win a lot of accessories like eyelets and rivets. Rivet, We've got yeah. tons of these here. And the table clamp. And the table clamp. So uh, you really want to win this prize. Yeah. And Carlos, what do people have to do to win this? All they need to do is answer a question and put the answer in the comments down below. The question is very easy. We're looking for a date again. Um, and we would like uh, to know which year did we post our very first video here on YouTube. So we're looking for the year when we posted uh, the first video here on YouTube. Um, you might find the answer if you snoop around in our YouTube channel. I think you might find it, so maybe try snooping around and having a look and see if you can find that answer. We will select a random lucky winner after Christmas uh, who will win this prize. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for that. We would also like to give a big shout out and a big thanks to all our members. It is because of our members that we are able to do a free knit along and a free uh, pattern this year. Yeah. So thank you so much if you have been supporting our channel financially. We really appreciate it. And if you like our videos, you can press on the thumbs up or you can be a subscriber. And if you're a subscriber, put on your notifications because then you won't miss an episode. And you can also put yourself on the mailing list because then you really don't miss anything or you can be a member. Yeah, for additional content, consider becoming a member. Uh, members get uh, a lot of additional things like uh, emojis designed by us. There are uh, monthly shenanigans, cooking episodes. There are um, monthly live Q and A's where we offer our knitting help. And uh, you also get a weekly 15 minute catch up with us. Um, so there's lots of things to enjoy. And there's more to come. And there's more to come. So <laughs> all you need to do is go to our YouTube channel here at arnicardos.com. Go to the main page, look for the subscribe button. And next to the subscribe button, there is a join button. Click on that, select your tier and you are ready to go. So that's yes. it. So we will be back with a new episode tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned as we continue revealing the uh, clues for the mystery sock um, along or stocking along. Stocking along. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow, Arne. Bye. Bye.